today's video we're going to show you what's inside our fridge. So many of you asked us for this video, so here it finally is. Yeah. So do you want to do the honours and open up the door, Sienna? Yeah. She's got her little stool, so she's able to reach all the items. When we moved into this apartment, they already had this stool, and Sienna has claimed this for herself, haven't you? You love it, don't you? She's able to reach everything. Also, so if you didn't know this already, we are vegans, so we eat a vegan diet. So there's going to be a lot of veggies in here, although we do have other things as well. So do, what, where do you want to start? Uh, I want to start on this floor here. Okay. So what we have got is a big Ooh. sweet potato. Yeah, so I love sweet potatoes. These are known as potatoes here in the Canary Islands, and I think they're grown here. And these sweet potatoes are one of our favourite types of potatoes. We have these with nearly all of our meals. And how do you like mummy to prepare these? Chips. Chips, I turn them into wedges. These are delicious. They're white inside. And they taste like a cross between a chestnut and a parsnip roasted. It's delicious. And really big as well. Look at them. They're quite ugly looking, aren't they? And then we also got some water eye onions. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they called water eye onions? Well, they're actually not called water eye onions, but I just call them this to make you laugh. Yes, that's because <laughs> onions. Yes, they make your eyes water, don't they? Yeah. yeah, these Spanish onions, they do really make your eyes water. So we've got loads in there and we like popping them into our stews, don't and we? And then we got <gasps> carrots. And these are your favourite vegetable yeah. ever, aren't they? You love biting them just how they are. Have a go yeah. now. Have a go now if you want. <laughs> <laughs> go on, you little rabbit. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, we've got loads of carrots in there. So this is our vegetable drawer. Mm -hmm. Shall I go through these little greens? Mm -hmm. So as we're vegans, we're gonna have a lot of lettuce in the fridge. And that is no stereotype in our fridge because we do have a lot of lettuce. So we basically go through at least one of these every day. Whoops, don't we? And so we always make sure we've got lettuce in there. And we also love to make sure we've got some herbs. So I think this mm -hmm. is parsley and there should be some coriander in there as well. Now these really flavor up your food. So if we're just having some for like tofu or beans, herbs are amazing for adding loads of flavour in it and they're really, really good for you as well. And every day we make sure that we have a green of some sort. And then also yeah. we got this place here. We got cucumber here, Ooh. pepper, courgette and... Uh... Do you want me to help you out? Yeah. We've got some beetroot. So this is um, beetroot, beetroot which has been pre-cooked and this is really good and nutritious for you. And this is, yeah. can you remember, this used to be your favourite vegetable before yeah. carrots. You went through a phase where you really loved beetroot. Can you remember that? And yeah. now your granddad thought that were amazing. Yeah, so we've got the pepper. I, I just really want to there. show the guys. Right Look. Now. Yeah, we'll have some beetroot tomorrow night actually. Their peppers here are massive, aren't they? Yeah. They're huge. And then we also got some strawberries mm. here. Can I you love smell strawberries. Those? They smell amazing. We mainly have frozen berries, but we do like to have some fresh in the fridge as well for when we run out. Yeah, and um, then we also got some tomatoes. Yeah, so we've got loads. We've got a big punnet here of tomatoes. We usually have these raw in our salads, don't we? Yeah. Delicious. You always got some tomatoes in your yeah. fridge. And then we got some leek last Yeah. Food. Nice big long leek. Really good for you as well, isn't it? I mean, everything in our fridge is good for you, but that yeah. is, I always go on about how good leek is, don't I? <laughs> yeah. All the time. Good for your microbiome. Yeah. What else have we got? Uh, we got. Oh, I wonderful. think you've forgotten something on the shelf. Did you mention these? Yeah. What are they? Uh, we... Courgettes. Courgettes are also zucchini in the US. And actually, in Spain as well, I think they're called zucchini. But yeah, these are courgettes. And we have another shelf here, Sienna. What is on here? Avocados. Yeah. I got it. We've also got, Cheers. I'll reach these. We've got avocados, and these are for the healthy fats. And yeah, also, avocados, avocados make really awesome guacamole, so they taste gorgeous. But we've got a pack of chia seeds here, and we make chia pudding at this, don't we? Yeah. And they are just really full of healthy yeah. fats and delicious. We've also got a couple of tubs here. Of, we don't usually have these in the fridge, but what are they? They're leftover chickpeas. Yes. Yeah. So we've got those in there for another meal. And it's really handy having some pre-cooked chickpeas in your fridge anyway, because you just pop them in a salad or as a snack even. And what then we also got some leftover, uh, what's it called? Lentil that? stew. Yeah, lentil stew. It smells delicious. We had that for dinner, didn't we? But we yeah. had loads left over because we've got a fridge now, because in an old place we didn't have a fridge. 
quite lucky. That's another story though. And this time, so we can store our leftovers in here. And also at the back here, we've got another packet of some of what we use for healthy fats. And what is that, Sienna? It is flaxseed. And it's been yeah. pre-ground. Yeah. It's really important to have your flaxseed pre-ground because that way, then your body absorbs all the healthy fats and the nutrients from it rather than it just being pooed out. <laughs> so what happens? You just poo flaxseed out if they're not ground up. So we've got that there as well. And on the top shelf. Do you want me to lift you up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we've got some yogurt, soya yogurt. Yeah. And then we've got some hummus here. Yeah, so that it comes in a nice little, yeah. like, what do you call it, a ceramic pot, which is really yeah, nice. Yeah, and I want to show you. <laughs> uh, mm, mm, uh, <laughs> well done, hummus, yes. So, and then we got some soy milks Yeah, here. we've got loads of soy milk. We like to keep loads of cartons in the fridge, so it's nice and cool for when we need it. And then we've also it. got... Oh, what else have we got? Do you need to help? Tofu! Yeah, we've got some tofu here as well. We love having tofu for the protein. And yes, it's another stereotype. And yes, we do eat a lot of tofu as well. So we've got some packs there. And obviously there's all the soya milks. And this is another soya bean product, which is the soya yogurts, which Sienna mentioned. These are really delicious to have. We, these aren't a staple of ours, but we do like to have these now and then. It's a nice little dessert or something. It's a nice little creamy dessert. And these are really good um, um, dairy milk substitute for yogurts, if then you're interested. And now in our door. <laughs> we got some soy milk again. This is the open carton, so if yeah. you're wondering why, these are the unopened, but we always keep the open carton there. So you can quickly open the door up and pour it in your cup of tea or whatever we're yeah. using it for. And then we got some sauerkraut here. I don't want to hold it. Let me... What is sauerkraut? Uh, sauerkraut. For those who don't know, it's a bit uh, of a weird word, isn't it? What is it? Ah, it is. Cabbage. Cabbage, yeah, it's pickled or fermented cabbage. Pickled. It's delicious actually. Cabbage. This is like meant to be like a German sort of traditional food, but you can get it here in Spain and we used to get it in England as well, didn't we? Delicious. I might help you if this one's really heavy. So now I cooked a stew tonight with a big can of tomato, um, canned tomatoes, and we didn't use them all up, so I popped them in this here. So I've got another one for our next meal that'll keep nice in the fridge. What else have we got, Sienna? Some salad olive oil. I remember when me and Dad used this. Yes, it's a salad nice dressing. Salad. Yeah. It's just mainly made out of vinegar. Be nice to have for nice salad. Yeah, delicious. You've always got to have a bit of a salad dressing yeah. in the fridge. And then we got some, uh, what is it called? Lentils. Yes. Lentils. So I didn't use up all the lentils tonight, so we've got the rest of the lentils left in here. Which is handy as well, like I said about the chickpeas, really handy for us to have some pre-cooked beans on, on hand for when, you know, we need to, to make a quick and easy meal. And then we got some tomato ketchup. We've got the, I've managed to get the Heinz one over here, which is really good, because we like the Heinz one, because it's 50% less sugar, less salt, so you feel like when you're having tomato ketchup on your food and your greens, you don't feel as naughty, do you? And when you squirt it, it makes a funny noise. Yes, it does, yes. And there's another little sneaky Heinz there, isn't there? There is, what is this? It's barbecue sauce. Now, we love barbecue, barbecue sauce, because it can make dishes, which you normally would have like with meat, like say, chili con carne, if you <laughs> make it with like, Soy mints or beans, add in this and you give it carne. Yes, that is what it's called chili, a chili, chili yeah. con carne. That's because we're learning Spanish at the moment as well, so that's a Spanish word for me. So, yeah, we love having this because it's a really nice, smoky sort of flavour to things. Delicious. So, if you're going vegan, barbecue sauce will be your best friend. Yeah. Uh, what's on this one? We got some two packs of seeds here. We got some nuts here. Yeah, so these are, what are these? Are these? Sunflower seeds, yes. and these are almonds. I always get really confused between sunflower and pumpkin seeds, but I believe that these are sunflowers. So these are really cheap over here, and we just make sure we have these as often as we can for the healthy fat, and then the almonds as well. They're really good for you. I think they've got like calcium in as well. And then on this little mm -hmm. here, <laughs> be careful with this one because this is a bit temperamental. This one. What are these strange little these things? These are. They are seaweed. Yes. Now we try and have a little bit of seaweed once a week for the iodine, so that's really good for you. And then we've got these, what are these jars here, Sienna? Jam, that is 
pineapple jam yeah, here. Yeah, delicious. They have pineapple jam over here, which is pretty awesome. And then we got some raspberry jam here. And I like these jams because I always make sure I'm looking just for either if it's made out of fruit sugars or it has normal sugar in it because sometimes they can have like glucose fructose syrup and we try and avoid that as often as we can especially if we're having yeah. it every day Fruit sugar is healthy yeah we try and make sure we go for the more um like more natural sort of types of jams and ones without gelatin in but these are uh, all fruit and then we got so this can i just quickly say something yeah. this is like this top shelf here is like a little health beast and shelf isn't it <laughs> yeah. what is in here then right this is some oil uh oil free fish vitamins yeah so instead of having cod liver oil we essentially have these for the omega free fats and this yeah. is by opti free and you can buy this online and if you're wondering uh, what's that strange ginger, looking yeah. thing it's a gingery yeah. and we like having this because it helps fight inflammation if you've got a cold or sore throat or cough just slice this up and turn it into a tea or you can just have it on its own i won't get you to bite this in front of the camera and then also what goes really well with ginger is this, what is that? Lemon. Yeah, it's a ginger lemon, really good health booster. Great way to start the day as well, isn't it? Yeah. And we've also got this long pack here of what? Garlic. Garlic, what does and that do? What's it good for? It's good for your microbiome, isn't it? Yeah, so it helps fight off viruses and germs, flavors the food up really well and makes yeah. you stink the next day. <laughs> And we used to have it raw as well. Yeah, we haven't had it yeah. for a while, but we do tend to like the ginger. Sometimes we like to like munch on a clover to a garlic. So I think we've covered everything in our fridge. Yeah. We do have lots more other um, feeds, fruits and vegetables, and they're all in the freezer. So maybe that could be another video. So we have things like broccoli and stuff, but that we always buy them frozen, don't we? But this is yeah. our fresh stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is our fridge. So I hope you've enjoyed yeah. getting to look inside our fridge. This is one of yeah. Sienna's favourite things, isn't it, the fridge? Yeah. Say goodbye to yeah. the fridge. Bye, fridge. And should we say goodbye to our friends as well? Yeah. So thank you for watching. Bye. That's really good. Well done. What's that? that yeah, you, the only thing is you both said... Um, oil free fish capsules so you meant to say fish free omega-3 oil capsules because oh. they've got oil in so when you say oil free sienna that means it's got no oil but they haven't got fish in oh. <laughs> don't worry you just said the words the wrong way around <laughs> you did well mate yeah you've done really well high five